The Miami-Dade County Commission bid farewell to several commissioners, including its chairman, Jose Pepe Diaz, who has been with the commission since 2002. I went one-on-one -on -one with the retiring commissioner. Here's what he told me about his future in public service. Chairman Diaz, thank you so much for joining us on NBC6 Impact. It is a pleasure to be here with you, Jackie. Well, 20 years, that's a very long time. And you're walking away as chairman of the Miami-Dade County Commission. You're saying goodbye. How hard is it for you? Oh, it's been incredibly hard. In fact, I didn't know it was gonna be so hard. My colleagues and, you know, everybody was like, oh, we can't wait to it. it and it's been bittersweet. I tell you, it's a lot of people that uh, really care. And, and I care for them. So it's never easy to walk away from something like that. So just uh, kind of closing one, side, one chapter in my life and opening another mm -hmm. and seeing which way we go. I'm sure it's like a family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are walking away as chairman. Yes, ma'am. What are you most proud of, of what you have accomplished um, as a county commissioner? Well, as a county commissioner, it's just a lot of things. A lot of great things that I've done uh, and we've done because some, you can't say I, I, I because you need a lot of people sometimes to make things happen. And leadership role, that's the only time you can say I. And I tell you that everything from being able to help our military drastically as they come back into the workforce and with health matters, you know, getting jobs, stuff like that, uh, dealing with all the issues the police have had and have had in protecting and keeping our law enforcement intact. Um, there's so many different levels. I mean, I've done everything from the tunnel um, that is very famous today, but at the beginning it was, people thought it was not gonna happen and look at the reality today. Uh, to the viaduct, to transportation issues, to Super Bowls, to bringing the F1 to Miami-Dade County, the, and we were selected for the, you know, the Copa Mundial, uh, and, you know, come years from now. There's a lot of things that we've done. Um, pinpointing, I guess the best thing is surviving 20 years <laughs> in Miami-Dade County. How has it been to, to work with Mayor Daniela Levine Cava? It's been pretty good. I mean, we sometimes see things differently, but we always have respect for each other, and we try to work it out. Um, that's what politics is supposed to be about. Sometimes we can't always see on the same page everything, um, but that's where democracy sits in, and that's where people vote, and that's what the commission is about. The mayor is the administrator of the county, and obviously the commission is a legislative branch. So she goes and tries to get her votes, we make sure we state what we state as we do delegation as to a vote and a subject or an item. And we take a process, the process is to vote. She also has a process to veto. Mm -hmm. And that veto could be overturned by the commissioners of Miami-Dade County because they feel strong. And they represent 13 districts in Miami-Dade County, which is uh, something that was created years ago. And I think was the best thing that could happen for Miami-Dade County. Something that the mayor did veto was the urban development. This is something that the commission voted eight to four against the will of the mayor, and that is to extend the boundary, and I believe the, the parcel is 380 acres, which we would be developed into warehouses. Why did you believe that it was important well, to go Well, because I've been on the ecosystem task force for many, many years, and they could not come up with a true, true excuse as to why it could not be done. They said, well, it's gonna hurt the environment. Well, how? How is it gonna hurt the environment? If the pollutants are already going from the fertilizers and everything, and all that's going into Biscayne Bay. The people that would build this there will actually be building in an area where the farming has been limited only to trees now because of the saltwater intrusion. So farming was bad. So the people that were against this development kept saying, no, we want to help the farmers. We want to. Well, the farmers came out and said, the majority of the people that had the land said, we have a right to sell our land. We're not going to farm it anymore because we could only farm so many things. And due to that, then it became about recharge. But then in recharge, you would get that land and just make it muck and make it an area 
for the water to extend. So the greater purpose of that land and, the, and having Durham that has to make sure that no more pollutants go in that whole area because of that project that's being done. All that was what swayed my decision. Have they guaranteed that they will do that? Of course they guaranteed. They have to because it was stated and that was very clearly said and that was part of the record. Now, it's up to Durham. And, and our government, which I'm sure Daniela will be like an eagle watching this project, um, making sure that it's done correctly. Now, the best and most important part is the people from the south really want those jobs in that area. And it was important for them. And they were there in, in massive amounts saying, we need those jobs down south. We're tired of having to drive for one and a half, two hours sometimes to get to those jobs in the downtown area and so on. So there's a lot. I mean, it went back and forth for several months. I am totally secure with my vote. I am okay with it because it was a greater good of everything that could happen in that area to me was to do what is being done with the kind of people that are that are obligated to do what they presented to us and to do it right. I spoke with the mayor and she told me obviously that she was disappointed with the vote. She told me that there was no need for this now and she told me that it could be at the expense of the environment. How? Nobody's come up with that. And you know what? It's sad when politics gets into the middle of something. And let me tell you why. If you show a clear cut why? Show me the scientific facts. Show me everything. That project could not happen. But don't be showing me hold the line as a cry because we want to hold the line. No, the line was never meant to be in stone. The line, because I talked to people that were there when that line was created, the imaginative line the urban boundary line was simply to curtail construction from fast growth and limit it in an equal and balanced way as we grow to the west. But this specific parcel of land would only go to warehouses? They could do warehousing, they could do upgraded offices within or production situations. This, this is just, base, this is close to the Homestead Air Reserve base. Yes, it is close to the air. And I'm a stringent supporter of that base. Because when the BRAC system came, I made sure, and many others, that that base would survive the base cutting through the BRAC system. So I'm very proud of this in my career because there's balance. It's not good when there's too much on one side or another. You gotta find balance for people. And that's what real leadership is about. Also, we have to respect people's beliefs. I respect the mayor's beliefs, and I hope she respects mine. And, and that's democracy, and that's where we're at. Transportation, you said, was one of the highlights also in your years on the commission and as chairman. As a matter of fact, you just um, celebrated the opening of the Tamiami Station Park and Ride. But there has been a lot of development in terms of the North Corridor, now a connection to Miami Beach. How important is transportation for a county like Miami-Dade? It's incredibly important. It's not just only creating these bus stations and creating stations, which maybe in the future they're not going to be bus stations. They buy me a version of a monorail or, or people mover or whatever. But we have to have connectivity, and we have to do that for the future of this county. So you talked about the future of Miami-Dade County. Let's talk about your future, because you ended your career as an elected official in the county. What's next for Chairman uh, and Commissioner Jose Pepe Diaz. The future is uh, I'm going to be doing some advising, some consulting, as I've always done. Uh, also, I look forward to maybe continuing my political career and in the little city that I came from that I moved into uh, at eight years old, and that's the city of Sweetwater. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able one day to, in the next coming weeks, hopefully, I, I could announce um, to run for mayor in, in that city of Sweetwater. So uh, you got an advance, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the exclusive information there. <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, good luck to you. Thank we you, appreciate your 20 years of work for the county. Thank you, ma'am.